Follow your local weather authority forecast. It's a bit of a misty morning across the tall city this morning, but we're rain free. This is a live look at Midland early on your Monday morning. We're about 10 minutes away from sunrise. We do notice some clouds well off to our south and east. Clear skies above indicating enough dry air in the upper levels of the atmosphere, hindering our chances of rain. But later today, we could be seeing thunderstorms approach the tall city, and we're already seeing thunderstorms as much as almost 100 miles to the south and east of the tall city, kind of just meandering around just south of Big Lake and just also south of McAmy as well. Some rain showers moving through Big Lake this morning, dissipating. Also some rain showers near Carlsbad dissipating, drifting off the west with more rain showers once again dissipating and drifting off to the west. And that's because of easterly winds in the lower levels of the atmosphere. And that's starting to shift these thunder showers a little bit farther westward. These thunder showers themselves together this morning. Likely not going to affect the tall city this morning, but later today more storms may pop up. We do notice this ring of clouds around the tall city this morning indicating thunder showers near the Big Bend region sending to New Mexico and also the Panhandle and Oklahoma. And those areas will likely see more rain throughout the day today. 58 degrees in the tall city partly to mostly clear skies. North wind at six miles per hour. Very humid. 100% relative humidity. The humid air is here to stay this morning as that sun rises at 6:52 a.m. Still remaining humid throughout the morning and afternoon hours and we are going to be seeing temperatures rise but not close to normal because of a lot of clouds and especially a lot of rain chances near the Big Bend region. Those yellows, oranges and reds indicate locally some heavy rainfall, much needed rainfall and thankfully will be below severe limits in terms of our thunderstorm activity this afternoon. Average high 88. I think we'll reach 78 in the tall city with northeasterly winds sustained at 10 to 20 miles per hour, stronger wind gusts and some of those stronger storms. But again, likely below severe limits. So I think our peak wind gusts today will be close to 30, 40 miles per hour. Some of the stronger storms, mostly south of I-10. And especially, we're going to be seeing the cooler and more humid air south of I-10 as well. You have the Chisos Basin in the Big Bend Ranges struggling to reach the low to mid 60s in these green colored areas. Mid to upper 70s and lower 80s in the tall city this afternoon for starting to cool off overnight in the 60s with a lot of clouds, cool and humid conditions and east northeasterly winds keeping things pretty gloomy late tonight and tomorrow morning. A little bit more gloomy compared to this morning for tomorrow morning. But because of southeasterly winds returning later tomorrow, warming up in a nice way right around the 83 degree mark, but still a little bit more cloudy than sunny throughout the afternoon hours tomorrow. So we are going to be seeing eventually the slightly warmer and drier trend win out later in the week, although chances of rain will still linger around 78 today, 83 tomorrow, 87 on Wednesday, upper 80s, lower 90s Thursday and Friday, then cooling off once again as we head into the weekend.